Hello friends, Patrick here. Today we are looking at ways to speed up your NBN connection. Now please, if you're watching this and you know what to do, bear with me. I'm doing a video for those folks who might not even have a clue. I'm sorry. So I'm going to start with a few that are very easy to do, some that are complicated and I'll get to the one that I did recently that got me a whole boost in my fiber to the node connection. So first of all, let's talk about the fiber to the node because that's probably the main one people are going to be complaining about on speed. And the reason for that is, is because of the copper connection to the node. On the other hand, fiber to the curb will have a much better connection, but I've heard there is dropouts. And obviously fiber to the premises with that, um, it's, it's pretty much going to be some of the other things that I'll mention. And you know what, let's start with that. Fiber to the premises. The main things to look out for if your speed falls is actually when it happens. If you're looking at your speed and you have bought 50 or 100 or 25 and it comes around to 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the afternoon or 6, whatever the time may be uh, in the afternoon when people get off work and your speeds plummet, the first thing you can do to fix that is actually to change provider to a less popular provider, not in the sense of how much people like the provider, but actually go to a provider that's not mainstream. And what you'll find is they have paid for a lot more space on their highway of internet to provide a lot more bandwidth and speeds for people uh, during peak hour times. So that's the first thing you think you want to do. And on the other hand, if you are getting low speeds constantly throughout the day and for an amount you've paid for, it doesn't match. It's actually something probably to do with your hardware. So probably not something I want to talk about in this video, but it's time to troubleshoot. And the first thing you should do is probably just reset your router and also plug in your computer directly into it if you're on Wi-Fi. So fiber to the curb, basically it's and in between fiber to the node and fiber to the premises. Fiber to the curb is a very short run of copper cable from inside your home to the street outside. It's very close and you should net you very, very high speeds. It would actually be a very good solution comparably to fiber to the node if the Australian government led with that. So with fiber to the curb, exactly the same thing. Test your line, test your device, restart your router, but then also if that doesn't work and at peak times you're getting very low speeds, it's time to change providers. Now in saying that, it's really easy to change on the NBN because you don't need a technician to come out and actually fix that for you or change it on a plug you. If you're already connected, it could take less than an hour to actually reconnect you to a new provider. And it's all done by the new provider. You don't even have to contact your old provider, which is absolutely fantastic. A big benefit that many don't speak about the NBN. It's, it's pretty cool that you can swap like you do with maybe your uh, mobile provider. So fiber to the node, how do you improve it? And I'll get back to fiber to the curb in a second because the next point kind of goes hand in hand and for both. From the street or from the node, there is a certain distance. The longer the distance, the less speed you will get. Your router will be able to show you this maximum rate of your line possible, and then after that, it's just how much speed you buy from your ISP. The main thing to look out for is if that max rate is really, really low. So the best way to look for a node in around your neighborhood is probably one of these will be the connection to your NBN and that's where your copper cable from your house to the node will go. If it's very far away, you will get low speeds to the point where ADSL 2 Plus might actually sound like a much better option. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about that distance, but the main thing you can do, and this goes hand in hand with fiber to the curb and how I dealt with it, your home connection. So before we get into the discussion of what I did here in this house, what you can do, let's lay out some ground rules. This should not be taken upon yourself if you are not familiar with wiring. If you are not familiar with wiring ethernet cables, don't do anything. It's not electrical work, it's not that dangerous, but it is cable work. If you are familiar with wiring or crimping ethernet cables, it's going to be fine. You'll see it. You'll understand. So let's talk about your in-home wiring. Before the NBN, your home connected multiple phone lines in multiple rooms. Phone line would come into your home and it would be split up in the roof into multiple rooms. So each room could have a phone line. If currently you're in a situation where your house was converted from a normal ADSL line to an NBN and you have NBN running right now, 
I would highly suggest to take your router and plug it into each one of those walls and check if you get a different speed connection. Don't worry if you do, I'm just trying to let you know that each room has now a connection that you can actually use. So the next step is to follow the black cable. It could be black, it could be white, it could be some sort of different color, but usually black from the outside into your roof and find the point where the actual connection splits off into other rooms. Because of it splitting off into other rooms, you're actually losing the stability of your connection. The fact that it's going through to other rooms is kind of bad for you, bad for the connection and bad for the stability. I don't know what the technical term is, but it's basically meaning that that connection is now split across multiple endpoints and kind of wasting power, right? So choose a room where you're going to put your router down and leave it there. What you're going to do is literally unpack the little box and depending on the age of your home, it'll be a Telstra box. When you open this box up, you'll see two wires connected and two wires completely disconnected. The red and black will be off to the side, but there'll be a blue and white. Don't quote me, however, but there will be two wires. Those two wires will be connected to a single point and then all sorts of other wires, usually white going to all your other rooms, will be connected within the same box. What you want to do is take out every single other wire that's in there, so all your other rooms, so you will be disconnecting those rooms from phone lines. And if you're not using a home phone and it is connected to the NBN, you potentially don't need it at all. So you're gonna take those apart and only connect what's coming in the house to a single point and you're gonna connect it on a single screw point. You're not gonna tangle it, you're not gonna do any of that stuff, just put it back on the same point, get rid of the other cables and connect them up, put the box back, close it up and leave it there. What you will find is that your speed will potentially not only double, it could quadruple, but your base speed that you're getting right now will max out. So with my experience, I did exactly that. I disconnected all other phone lines around the house and now my speeds have changed from. I used to get 54 megabits downstream maximum. That would be the maximum of my line. And the maximum I could actually run a speed test on was 34 megabits. So once I did this little change, but basically doing a straight wire and I could potentially go in and fix it by running one single wire that's out in the roof and running it back to a point that's even closer in the home, I could get even more. However, my max down rate went to 90 megabits, which is nearly the maximum of 100 that you can buy from NBN Co. And my actual line speed maxed out at 55 through a speed test. In fact, if I now contact my ISP, I can upgrade my plan to 100 and get around 85 to 90. It's never gonna go the max rate, but it's gonna go very close to it. So I'm expecting 80 to about 20 up. So uploading will never change. Unfortunately, uploading on NBN's fiber to the node, fiber to the curb was always going to be very bad. It's always going to be very slow. Unfortunately, the power that the other device sends to your home or the other node is much higher than your modem can produce. And unfortunately, no matter how good the line is, it's really about distance. So my upload is still 20. It's actually gone up only by five. So it's 25 and 50 down, 25 up. That is a great result. I was so happy that it's done. Now, in saying that, you can actually hire a local company to come and do that for you. There are many companies that do this already because it is one of the biggest problems with the way NBN has been put into homes. Nobody told the homeowners to make sure to check their own wiring. And actually your ISP will tell you to check your own wiring and get somebody out. So if they have told you that and they've done all their tests, it's probably time to get somebody in or you can look at it yourself. It's not that hard, but I do warn, don't try this at home. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this has given you a little bit of insight on how to improve your fiber to the node connection. I know some of you expected just to click a button and let it happen, but sometimes with the way things are in Australia, you gotta get your hands dirty and do a little bit of DIY. Guys, appreciate you watching. I uh, hope you can subscribe, leave us a like, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about homeowners taking action against the government. No, not against the government, against slow speeds. I hope and wish you good luck. Thanks.